saw Johnny there, and he acknowledged, probably should have gone to Gary Barnage early in that play, but still was able to make the play. And so my question is, what's the most important thing that this offense must do on Sunday? We have to be efficient, especially on early downs, uh, that it's our age old, um, our formula for being successful. Got to win on first down, uh, get yourself, if you are going to get to third down, then, then uh, you, th th those have to be manageable. And I think you got you to mix it. you got to hit some chunk plays in this league. I, I think it's very difficult to just methodically drive and kind of nickel and dime teams and, and all the way down the field. So, uh, you know, we, we think we have some good chunk plays schemed up, and uh, we'll see if we can execute them. All right, time now for hashtag Ask Pet, the phenomenon sweeping the Northeast Ohio region. And we'll start off with this. Cam Irving's been working a lot at right guard. He's got some work at center. We've seen him some at tackle, but not really at left guard because that's been Joel Batonio's domain. That's mm -hmm. where he will start on Sunday. How different is that in terms of what he has to do at left guard from right guard? There are some subtle differences, but uh, that uh, Cam's strength really has been his versatility. He's played a, a decent amount on the left side, especially the days where Joe Thomas has been given the day off in, in practice. So he, he's, he's logged a good number of reps on the left side. So I, he has a good understanding of that, of that world over there. He, and when he did get reps at right guard, he was, he was solid. So uh, we're looking forward to it. He's, he's uh, you know, getting all the reps this week in practice. Uh, and and it's, it's good to see this because he's really earned it. He's put in uh, a, a lot of good time, whether it was in, in the weight room, in the meeting room, on the practice field. And uh, as we know, that lineup's been, been tough to crack. And uh, it's unfortunate that, uh, that Joel got hurt, but, but it does open a, a, a window of opportunity for Cam. All right, best rivalry, in your opinion, in college sports? Maybe a softball, we'll see. Uh, no, I, and whether I was here in Ohio or not, I, I think this one is, is a slam dunk. It's, it's the Buckeyes versus the school up north. Uh, you know, just, you just being around, you know, uh, football growing up and, and being just a huge fan of those rivalries of, of uh, you know, Woody Hayes and, and the mentality and, and uh, just loving those again, a rivalry with Bo Schembechler. I mean, it's, those games were always uh, great to watch. You always threw the records out and, and uh, that was one that was always, you know, fun to, you know, we only had 10 channels back in the day to, to put, you know, find the one that had the game and, and, and off you go. And our final hashtag aspect question. You're wearing the shirt, salute to service month, but it was Veterans Day yesterday. Did you guys do anything special for the veterans in this community? Uh, we did. Uh, it's, uh, veterans Day is, is, uh, is very important to this organization, and uh, that, that whether it's you know, thanking, honoring, saluting uh, the people who have served in, in the, uh, the armed forces, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal for us. So uh, we, we hosted, I think, you know, it was over 90 uh, servicemen and service women from all, awesome. five, all five branches. Uh, it was great to uh, you know to see them come out and watch practice and j just you know, how much it meant to them and and then to be able to, to you know look them in the eye and shake their hand and thank them and sign for them uh, afterwards. It's it, it's a special deal. I know it means a lot to uh, to some of the guys on our on our team that have have direct you know, direct connections. Uh, and I know we're we're in the planning stages of a of a Cleveland Browns trip, uh, USO trip over. Uh, over probably somewhere in the Middle East in, in the spring. So I'd, I'd love to be a part of that and, and looking to see if we can, we can uh, get that scheduled. Very cool, Coach. Thanks so much. Good luck against the Steelers. And when we come back, I'll be joined by Pro Bowl safety Tashawn Gibson on the Mike Pettin Coaches Show, driven by Liberty Ford right here on News Channel 5.